MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So, Mark, we've got here the QT Nexus 252 MSY Robot Smart Cell. What is this machine actually doing? Okay, this machine is um, a machine capable of machining on both spindles. So you're going to do the first and the second operation simultaneously. It also includes a milling function and a y-axis for extra capability. Okay, so that's the machine. What about the loading and the unloading process? Okay, uh, we've utilised a rotary conveyor, an articulated robot. So the, the rotary conveyor can provide 16 stations and the articulated robot can unload and load workpieces which gives us unmanned running, can cover um, unsociable shift times and aids productivity and also extra profitability. Okay, so looking at this machine here, I've obviously got a fact sheet and there's five key selling points that Mazak are pushing here. The first of which you've mentioned already, lights out running capacity. So that's a key benefit. Yes, yes, for this particular example, the cycle time is seven and a half minutes. And with the rotary conveyor, this actual demonstration can run for 14 hours unmanned. 14 hours, yes. wow. Okay, and then key point two, this one's really interesting to me because it's significantly lower cost than an equivalent cell on the market. How does that work? Well, this Robo Smart Cell is an internally designed product and it's manufactured in-house in Mazak. So we can offer significantly lower costs than perhaps a, a robot in uh, integrator can do. So with this machine, everything is Mazak. There's no third party yes. equipment included. Yes, and it benefits from that with the uh, technology of the control and also the robot interface and the uh, programming method for the robot. So we've relocated here to the control and I can see by this screen here, Mark, it looks very question and answer. Is that yeah. correct? Yes, that's right. That was a, um, a key design element, really. We wanted to harness the skills of the operator. So the operator is familiar with the Mazatrol system and entering a program through the conversational method. And we wanted to create the same method here and move away from complex robot programming. So we simply enter in the diameter, the length of the component, the gripping diameter, all through a question and answer dialogue. And it's very, very simple to set up and, and run an operation for the robot. So if I was the programmer or the operator of this machine, I would need to be uh, au fait with this as well as the Mazatrol, but they talk to each other. Yes, yes, and they use a very similar language. What we're trying to do is ensure that the uh, skills necessary to program the robot are complemented by the skills on the machine. Okay, that's the control. Okay, so on the mechanics of the machine, this is actually a sub-spindle machine, is it? Yes, this machine has a, a 4,000 RPM main spindle uh, with a 10-inch chuck and uh, a second spindle with up to 6,000 RPM for, for secondary machining. And the, and the axes involved, have you got a Y-axis, is the mill drill? Yes, this has um, a Y-axis for machining offset from the centre line up to 100 millimetres in stroke. And it also has a mill drive with up to 6,000 RPM for secondary operations. Okay, now, and, and on the automation, if I, if I was looking for a solution like this, would I be able to select any type of machine within the range or any turning centre within the range and add this automation cell? Yes, very much so. Um, we've um, demonstrated this robot cell before on both the Quick Turn Nexus and also our Quick Turn Smart. So really for, for a customer, uh, they need a robot interface, they need an automatic tool, and then very much we can, uh, we can plug and play this unit. And would that be the case if I had a turning centre? I'd bought one last year and I thought, right, Automation, yeah. that's for me. Yeah. Can you can you plug and play this at a later date? Yes, with the correct interface and an automatic door, this can be retrofitted in the field. So how about actually getting inside the machine, let's say for maintenance reasons, how does that work? Okay, well that's a key point. Uh, we have an exterior cover, that's to conform to CE regulations, and also to have an enclosed environment to prevent chips and coolant circulating into the working environment. So simply, we open the door, and, and you'll notice that we have a, a drip tray in front. So that can easily be pulled away. And now I'm in a position where I can easily access the machine. So what you can notice with the door open, 
There's lots of space here for the operator. It's got good access into the machine, but also the robot's been designed. Um, the base of the robot's been placed on, on, a, on an incline. That means the robot is moved away from where the, ro from the, where the operator is standing. So really good access, clean environment, and that's been done by the drip tray preventing coolant from going where the operator would stand. So this is where all the intervention is, is it Mark? This is where you put your billets, yeah. take your billets out? This is where the operator would load, would load the, uh, the work pieces and take off the finished work pieces, yes. Okay, is there, is there any uh, restriction in weights or sizes? The robot has a payload of up to 10 kilograms with a maximum work capacity of 8 kilograms. We can do it in two ways. We can load through um, one or we can do a double load which is a four kilogram payload. Okay, okay, and now the operator would open this door, go in and, and load the billets and take the billets off accordingly, is that? Yes, that the idea? what we've done is harness technology we've used successfully for a number of years through our gantry range of loading products. So we've utilized the rotary conveyor with the articulated robot. Simply the operator would intervene with the door open and load the parts in, into, the, into the various rotary positions here and they can be stacked in multiple heights, which gives us the unmanned running capability. Okay, so from your opinion, this as a solution, would it suit every engineering company? Is it a selected view? What's the audience? This would suit multiple users, and it's suitable for both uh, small, small cycle runs and also large batch production as well. The, the reason for that is very, very quick to set up and can cover the sort of unsociable shifts and, and, and labour shortages. And is this becoming more popular? Are you seeing as, as, yes. as people look to uh, less operator intervention, um, you know, more unmanned hours, is it becoming more of a, more of a you know, factor in their purchasing? Yes, this is becoming a solution to gain productivity and also to lower manufacturing costs. And also to cover those hours where perhaps it's difficult to, to, to get people to cover, such as weekends and night shift, etc. Brilliant, it's been an education. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.